Hello there everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a uh, report uh, on some of the interesting developments that have happened for We Are Back over the last few days now. Many of you will be aware of the Financial Compliance Authority's recent uh, consumer notification or warning uh, to people who are looking to deal with We Are Back. One of the very interesting aspects of it though is they say uh, to proceed with caution when dealing with We Are Back. Nowhere does uh, it say in the document that you should avoid us. Uh, nowhere in the document does it say for you not to deal with us. It simply says, as a parental warning might be to a small child walking through the woods, yes, proceed with them, but be cautious. Uh, one or two other points that have come up and need addressing straight away, therefore, is this definition that the check is not legal tender. This is what they refer to on their, their site. And in fact, that could be well said to be true, because legal tender is a fairly technical and very precise meaning within, uh, should we say, the realm of money and finance. What I'll do now is I'll just read very quickly from the uh, Royal Mint's website, and it actually says, legal tender has a very narrow and technical meaning in the development of debt, sorry, in the settlement of debts. It means that a debtor cannot successfully be sued for non-payment if he pays into court in legal tender. It does not mean that any ordinary transaction has to take place in legal tender or only within the amount denominated by the legislation. Both parties are free to agree to accept any form of payment, whether legal tender or otherwise, according to their wishes. And that's quite an important point. Because if we then look at what the definition of a promissory note would be, and I'll read that to you, as everyone will understand, promissory notes are the bedrock upon which We Are Bank has built its most successful financial payment platform. A promissory note is a legal instrument, as the Financial Compliance Authority agrees, more particularly a Financial instrument in which one party, the maker or issuer, promises in writing to pay a determinate sum of money to the other, the payee, either at a fixed or determinable future time. Referred to also as a note payable in accounting, or commonly just as a note. Now some very interesting uh, circular arguments can come from this now. A promissory note, when issued by a bank, is a note. A mortgage note, when in the possession of a bank, is a note. A Bank of England legal tender note of £50, £20 and £10 is in fact a promissory note. Therefore, the circular argument goes as follows. If a cheque is in effect uh, an IOU or a finger pointing towards the promissory note, which is the backing instrument, and if the backing instrument, the promissory note, is in fact a promise to pay, if a promissory note issued by the Bank of England is legal tender, then legal tender must also be the promissory note. So in effect what we're saying here therefore is that a promissory note is in fact legal tender and whatever draws down on the promissory note is in effect lawful money. And this is the point that people are missing in this entire educational scenario that we're embroiled in at the moment. For example, we have a comment here from um, a particular council that says, the council does not recognise this document as a valid cheque and neither does the council's bank. Well, what I would say to that is they'd better go and readjust their loop or their spectacles so they actually look at what the definition of a cheque is. As I have repeatedly said, a cheque can be written on a serviette, it can be written on a football, it can be written on the side of a cow. So don't confuse the finger that's pointing to the moon with the moon. Now the question then is to define the cheque. You'll see that all the definitions required for a cheque are complete with the Weir Bank cheque. Now, the questioning then will be to any of these authorities, or whether it's a bank, questions would go maybe something like this, and I've written them down just for completeness. 
Does the council or the bank accept promissory notes as a form of payment? Yes or no? Is a promissory note also a bank note? Or can it be a bank note? Yes or no? Is a bank note, for example, as issued by the Bank of England, legal tender? Yes or no? If a promissory note is then legal tender, is also a banknote legal tender? An obvious answer. If a cheque is drawn against a valid enforceable legal instrument, a promissory note, then is not that, in effect, legal tender? If they refuse or cannot answer these questions, then it beggars the question, what is it that they either don't understand or are failing to see in plain sight? Now, it also states from uh, a communication here from this particular council and HSBC, even today if you owe someone money, they are not obliged to accept a cheque. Instead, a creditor is entitled to be paid in legal tender and can refuse payment in any other form. So, that is a very interesting point because a creditor is not practically able to insist on legal tender for the following reasons. Approximately 98, and these days maybe even 99% of all money available or accountable for on the planet is in the form of what's called checkbook money, bank ledger money, or monetary unit of account. That's the 98 to 99%. Only approximately 2% therefore is in the very technical uh, definition of legal tender or cash. Now what that means therefore is that if a contract is impossible to enforce, then it is in effect not a contract at all. Therefore, for anyone to insist that you pay your bills, or a creditor can and insist on you paying your bills in the very narrow definition that is legal tender, you will see that it is an impossibility to pay, because there is not physically the available amount of money on the planet to pay these bills in the form of legal tender to creditors. The next part there, for where they say, well, you can't force the creditor to accept a cheque, two things are taking place here. One, the global banking elite are trying to force you into a corner whereby we are in a cashless society. However, I think it should be you, the people who decide how you want to affect forms of payment that aren't electronically switchable on and off at someone else's will. And the other part to this is, without a promissory note, without a cheque, without a bill of exchange, or any other financial IOU or negotiable instrument exchanging hands daily, the entire financial, banking, commercial industry on the planet would lock up within seconds. Therefore, they cannot possibly be insisting or realistically expecting you, as a person involved in commerce, to not rely on your cheque or a promise to pay to keep the entire edifice upright and the wheels on the clown car. So, if anyone insists that they are not obliged to take a cheque, then true. They're not obliged necessarily to breathe when they get up in the morning or to wash at, on regular intervals. However, failure to do either will leave you either in a very, very state of blue-facedness or not really welcome in social circles. So, please educate yourself on the meaning of these instruments, be very, very tenacious, begin working in groups wherever you are and ensure that you understand the nature of these instruments and I would suggest with People Power joining ReMovement and We Are Bank that it is you that should be deciding what is lawful money and not some other 300 people sitting around a table collectively with the Federal Reserve, Bank of England and other central banks, Bank of International Settlements, etc., deciding on what you will use and what you won't. So, thank you. Peter of England signing off.